Hey fellow gamers, Gaming Geek here with a video sharing how I set up my gaming table for remote play since we are sheltering in place for COVID-19. I was looking for an opportunity to be able to continue to play Madara with my weekly game group. And so it's a fairly simple setup. Here I have my webcam uh, that is just on a mic tripod. And I have one of these small rigs um, just to be able to aim the webcam. And then the webcam is just connected to my uh, laptop here. And I am using Google Hangouts. Of course, you can use Zoom or any other uh, video conferencing app. And basically, that is how we play. My daughter is playing over here and myself over there. And then they're able to look through Hangout and video and I move the characters around. This game here is Madara. If you are interested in checking out how I made this 3D board and all my other videos, I have a playlist. Go ahead and click here and you'll be able to see some of those. But um, this has worked out fairly well. I know that folks worked on creating a mod for Madara on Tabletop Simulator, which actually does work really well. And I think they're in beta version right now. But the problem is, is it only includes up to two for the storyline. And our game group is currently in chapter three. So otherwise we would have used Tabletop Simulator. And in fact, one of my players actually pulls up Tabletop Simulator to look at all the cards. And so you're actually able to do that. So he just has a list of all of the cards that he has and he creates on Tabletop Simulator a da his dashboard of all of his cards and abilities that he has. Whereas my fourth player, I basically sent him his dashboard with all of his cards and gave him a set of regular dice and he just rolls regular dice and cross-references this chart of the various dice that we roll in the game. And that has worked out pretty well. We've uh, run a couple of sessions, and as you can see here last night, we played this scenario, and it worked out pretty well. As you can see, the map is fairly large, so I was a little bit worried that they would not be able to see the details, but I think because I have an HD webcam, they're able to see the details on the map fairly well. So it has worked out really well for us and I'm really glad that we can continue on this epic campaign. And as you can see here, this is one uh, fiddly game in the sense that it has tons of components. So if we can play Madara using a webcam and playing it remotely, you can play almost any other game because there's so much going on here. And so I'm really happy that it worked out here. And so any other game that you might have, I think can work out too, if you are stuck at home and wanting to play remotely. I wanna show you these wound counters that I found on Thingiverse. These are for free. On the number wheel, I just created some print files because I found the numbers really hard to read on the original 3D print files. And so I just glued uh, this printed paper on top. And then with my other game group, I've also been playing on Board Game Arena. And the only disadvantage, even though the interface is a lot better on Board Game Arena than it is with TTS, you're stuck with the games that are preloaded and available. Now there's a lot of games that are available on there. And our game group has been able to play a lot of different games that we've been wanting to play but don't necessarily own. That's worked out really well too. So check out Board Game Arena if you are interested in playing some other games because the interface is optimized for those games and the computer does all of the victory point calculation, restricts your potential moves and abilities based on the game. So that might be an avenue that you might wanna check out if you're interested in those preloaded games. Tabletop Simulator really is just a virtual table. It won't keep track of victory points. It, it won't tell you if you're not following one of the rules. And so it really is just limited to being able to put all the assets on the board. I did play Relic Blade on Tabletop Simulator and the interface takes a little bit of time 
getting used to it, but once you do get used to all of the shortcut keyboard commands, it does work out really well. You just have to find someone who made a mod to be able to play that game. I know Wingspan is on there and a number of other games uh, have mods that are available on there. So that's, that's another opportunity for you to be able to play some of those games. Clearly the um, advantage for TTS as well as Board Game Arena is that you don't have to buy the game. You don't have to own the game. For TTS, you just have to pay, I think it's $20 in Steam for that program. And Board Game Arena is free. So you don't have to buy any of those games. You can, in fact, if you want to try it out before you buy, you can do that as well. So in the midst of our COVID-19 social distancing, I think people are being creative and finding different ways of being able to continue to have game nights and play their board games. If you like this video, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe as well. Check out my Patreon page to see what giveaway we are raffling off for patrons this month. Thanks a lot. Happy gaming. We'll see you next time.